Hey Cancer, I'm Crystal. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Or any placement. We're going to find out how your person feels. Or we're just going to do a love reading, whoever's on your mind. Okay, somebody's overthinking and um, the situation, overthinking, you know, losing themselves, insecure. They're going through a lot, okay? So whoever it is that you're dealing with has low... Um, they don't have much love for themselves. Very insecure. I can't even think of the word. It's like low self-esteem. They don't have a lot of confidence. This person overthinks every situation, which makes it even harder. Deception. Hmm. This person, okay, I can clarify this, but this person puts on a mask, like a, a, a facade, like for other people, for you. I feel like they try to act like they're okay with the deception card. They're putting on this mask, but on the inside, they're not, okay? You have children. Your love life might be affected by children. Maybe this person wants children. Maybe this person misses their children. Maybe somebody's stuck in another relationship because of children. Take it how it resonates for you. But children are a factor in this uh, love situation. You have gossip. Faith. Triggers. Flashbacks. Trauma bonds. This person has a lot of like inner child wounds, okay? They feel like they're always attracting toxic people. I feel like the reason why they attract toxic people in toxic relationships is because they are uh, so insecure okay with gossip i feel like this person might believe a lot of stuff because they are so insecure they might be very gullible okay maybe they fall for like a lot of shit but uh you have wishing praying and hoping and then present this person is starting to become more aware now okay this is being in the present moment this is starting to see things for how they are Okay, I don't feel like this person could keep this damn mask on for too long. I feel like it's already been taken off. But they do a good job at telling everybody that they're okay when everybody knows that they're not. This could even be you. You take it how it resonates for you. Smooth talker. Canceled. No longer existing. So look. The smooth talker, deceptive words, the trick. You guys might be dealing with somebody who is trying to manipulate you. I feel like you guys are getting rid of this, getting rid of this person. Um, no longer interested, <laughs> no longer existing. It's like you guys are deleting this person out of your life, cursing themselves, bad decisions and regret. This person feels like they're cursed. Um, this person may be going through a lot of bad karma at the moment. I feel like I'm kind of talking about two different people here, but I might be talking about the same one. This person could have also deceived you in multiple ways. And the reason why they have deceived you or lied to you or hurt you in any type of way is because they feel low about themselves. If they put you down, it's because they feel really low. They're trying to make themselves, themselves feel above you. Divine Masculine. The yin to their yang peaked already their glory days are over <laughs> this could have been this person could have been your everything right but i feel like with peaked already their glory days are over it's like you know what i mean like it's like you were my everything i gave you my all all you did was deceive me all you did was act like i wasn't there you got ego okay spirit is protecting you from this person also there might be some like maybe this person is very revengeful they like payback okay this person may be somebody who runs away a lot. This person likes to get even, or maybe you've gotten even. This could have been something that went back and forth. But I feel like their glory days are over. Like, all the shit that they used to do isn't working for them, or you're not allowing it to work. You got antagonists. You see how the cat's, like, trying to annoy the damn dog? Like, this dude might, like, this dude or person or girl or whatever is, like, trying to, like, keep on, like, grabbing you, trying to get your attention, get your attention, get you to fight, annoy you, start some shit. It's like this person likes to start create drama. I feel like when nothing goes on around this person, they feel like their life is boring. So it's like they almost have to create drama. You have a cleaning house, elim eliminating undesirables. You guys are no longer falling for people's bullshit. Um, you have evil eye. They put a spell on you. This person could have put a love spell on you or um, just really like uh, manipulated. The not manipulated, but like 
damn near made your ass like be stuck with them but i feel like you guys are um breaking free of the spell you guys may even gotten some evil eyes lately or you know you guys are starting to do protection things or stuff like that right starting to protect yourself more sometimes i can't explain things you have justice they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. You might be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, you got fairy tale. This person thinks you got passion ignited. This person has a lot of love for you. And it's like you ignited a whole different side of this person. This person is trying to do different, okay? But I feel like their ego, I feel like you just can't stand it. They're too arrogant. They, um... Yeah, it's just like, I feel like you guys clash heads, you bump heads. I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like this person's almost like the world to you, right? And I feel like you understood this person for their insecurities, for what it is that they've been through in the past, but I don't know if they ever understood you, right? Or understood how to treat you. I feel like if anything, they just keep on pushing you away. There might be a lot of lies about this relationship. There might be a lot of lies going on behind the scenes, right? Um, you have coming apart. I don't feel like this was something that they expected to happen for most of you guys. It was like when they met you, wasn't really expecting it to happen or they weren't expecting their feelings to come through like they did. But like it can't be ignored, right? And then you have breaking free. Whatever it is that they are used to or stuck doing, they are now breaking free of this, okay? In, in order to come through to you. You have on a pedestal. Like they put you on a pedestal. Maybe before they used to put themselves on a pedestal, but now they know who the real like queen is, king is, right? They they know that, you know, you didn't deserve any of this. So what is your person's next movements? Two of Swords. They're still unable to see. The Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This person's um <laughs> This person's definitely watching you, trying to get more information, might be spying on you. All right, and you have the Justice card. Could be a Libra. I've seen that earlier. <clears throat> I feel like this person is trying to move slow or not really move, making any moves, actually, because they are unable to see what it is that they want to do. I feel like they are watching you. If you're in separation with this person, they're definitely watching you. And with the Ten of Wands, I'm going to clarify this, but it's like, they, I feel like, this so much on this person's shoulders there's so much on this person's shoulders that they choose not to see things because they don't want to deal with it they just don't want to have to do it all maybe there's a separation here and it's getting to them right with the four of swords and the cherry and the king of wands this person might be like putting some type of like movement like putting some like pep in their step to come through all right maybe you guys are moving away from each other, moving in with each other soon. This is not over with the Ten of Swords. What's the guidance for dealing with this person? The Wheel of Fortune. The King of Wands. Trust your judgment, okay? Trust your judgment. Trust the decisions that you're making, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like with the magician too, it's like you're manifesting maybe another meeting between the two of you. I feel like there's something that you guys need to discuss or say. The Ace of Pentacles. I hear I want to try again. I feel like this person's coming back. All right. They can't let go of you. The Ace of Wands, they may have even stopped messing around with other people. The Ace of Wands is usually like the um, like the sexual attraction card. Even with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel like this person might not even be messing with nobody. It's like they might be celibate. Or I think that's how you say it. Um, but I do feel like this person's making plans to um, their healing. And, well, two cards of major healing. I feel like you help open this person's eyes to something that they weren't able to see before. Right? And I do feel like this person is a little bit nervous, okay, because maybe they feel like you won't give them another chance because you have given them so many chances in the past, okay, this could have been something that repeated itself over and over and over again with the Wheel of Fortune, right, but I do feel like you guys have another opportunity coming up with this person to have a conversation, could be Aquarius, could be Sagittarius, Yeah, this person regrets whatever it is that they've done to you. 
whatever it is that they said to you or whatever it is that they didn't do. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This person regrets taking their anger out on you. Look, you see this person coming at this person with their sword and this person's all wounded. It's like they went after you even though you were wounded, even though you were like, you know, innocent. You know what I mean? You didn't do anything wrong. This person could always like put things on you, hurt you, snapped on you, told you bad things about yourself. This is a pattern too. So it wasn't one time. So, hmm. The High Priestess, you guys need to listen to your intuition on this, okay? Because, um, and actions speak a lot louder than words. Do not rush into anything with this person. What else do they regret? Five of Cups, regret not being there for you. Focus. They regret not seeing all the good things that they had and focusing on the, the little things that they thought they needed, okay? They regret lying to you, cheating, stealing, um, hiding the truth from you, running from you, hiding from you, ghosting you, blocking you from the truth, all right? And they regret leaving, okay? So this person regrets a whole hell of a lot, and I feel like it all has to do with like them hurting your feelings and leaving you out in the cold because they realize that you were their you know, happily ever after long-term relationship that they, they see potential in this, but they realize that they messed this up. So with the two of cups, this person is thinking about coming through and with the eight of pentacles that I've seen earlier, they want to try to work things out, but they're, they're not sure how to say it. So they're taking some time to figure it out. Like, Hmm. <laughs> See, take it some time to figure it out and how they're going to move forward. And this person is moving forward, okay? You got two major arcanas, the Fool, the Chariot, the Knight of Cups being led and guided to you. You're not going to expect this. Or maybe when this person comes through, you might be defensive because maybe all they did was feed you illusions or lies. But <clears throat> take your time with this person, okay? I feel like this person's coming back for a reason. Anyway, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Um, I hope this helps and have a great day. Toodles.